I think we did it completely wrong, but we got cupcakes, and in life, that's all I ask for. Ah, shoot. Where's the clock? Jeez, the horse broke the clock. You were supposed to get something good, not throw the die at my face. Don't take the peanut. Don't take the peanut. Don't take the peanut. Do not buy the peanut. Do not buy the peanut. I need the peanut. So that's what the other side of this bluey image looks like. So I got the cards and I don't see a spot for them. I know in Monopoly they have like special places to put the cards, but I guess we'll just put them in the middle right there. Assuming they don't encroach over anything, I don't know. And I guess we'll just leave the spinner right here. I hope nobody's trying to play cricket because that's going to suck. So in order to play this game, I'm gonna invite my brother and he's gonna come in so he can play this game with me. But before I get him in, I'm gonna up the challenge by playing it on this tiny bluey kids table. Which if I'm thinking correctly is also notorious for breaking based on the reviews. And I think this is kind of obvious but I have a feeling that my brother and I are kind of over the weight limit for these things. So we're just gonna have to pray that the bingo chair doesn't fail on me because if she does, I'm gonna be really sad and I'm gonna have to buy a new set. So yeah, this is probably not gonna end well. And yes, down here, these are in fact the knockoff bluey slippers. Pretty sure that's a sign. A sign that things are about to go horribly wrong. Shoot, we're about to start and I don't even know how to start the game. Um, I guess we'll just have to look at the instructions again. Thank goodness I brought them. The one who most recently ate cupcakes. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Well, um, I don't think my brother has ever eaten a single cupcake in his life. He's a very picky either, so I guess I'll go first. Let's see. Oops, shit, it turns the whole board. Dang. Um, let's go this way. Oh, oh come on. Did somebody glue this tree to the ground? Oh, there we go. That was incredibly hard, and I think we were supposed to click it one time, but whatever. Shoot, um, I- Wait, so I got a spinning tree, and I spun the tree, so, um, do I just stay here? I don't even know this layout. This layout's going all over the place, shoot. When they said this game was confusing, they freaking meant it. Alright, so you need to get five cupcakes in order to win, so here you go, you get your special cupcake card. You're a winner. And I got white too, so <laughs> I guess I just get a cupcake as well. I know, this is very intense stuff. Oh, I got white again, and... What do I even do now? Jeez, this is getting out of hand already. Alright, try to spin the tree, good luck. No, 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 just spin it once, just spin it once. Don't spin it like three times. Just stop! This is some very intense gameplay right here, so we gotta be careful. D did I break the spinner already? Oh, there it goes. What do I do now? What's going on here? I gotta consult the instructions book again. Is it supposed to be like this? I don't even know what to do here. It doesn't tell me where to go on a backwards dark green arrow, does it? You know what, I'm just gonna treat it like a normal shadow space, so... I'm just gonna go up here and get another cupcake. You could probably scream at me in the comments that I'm cheating, but honestly, I have no clue how this thing works. Spin again. Ah, uh, here we go with the tray again! Jeez! Uh, yeah, thank you for holding the board down. Ah, uh, there we go. Hello, birdie. How you doing? Ah! 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 This is gonna take a very long time, isn't it? Oh, goodness. Not the tree again. No. No. Hold it down. Ah, you little great thing. Okay, that's better. Bye, Snickers. Can I pass that? No, wait. I don't think I can pass that. Oh, shoot. Wait, so if there's an arrow spot that I don't land on but I pass through, do I... Just stay there, or do I go back, or... What, what, 
I feel like this stuff should be really clear, but it's kind of cryptic. Shoot, I thought those people were just exaggerating when they said this was confusing, but I don't even understand half the rules because they just kind of leave everything out. But shoot, I guess we're just slowly making our way there. Oh no, here we go again. Oh well, you're super strong, so it's easy for you. And no, you don't move, sorry. That's life. I'm afraid. Ah, oh, great, now I have to move the tree. That's what I get. Jeez, this is like Candyland for like calculus professors. This is like so confusing. Oh, oh shoot, not bad. That was fast, dang. Ah, who, who tripped Bluey? Was it you? Well, shoot, it looks like Bluey is no longer with us. That's a shame. Hey, that wasn't very nice of you. Snickers is playing dirty today. Woo, I'm gonna make it to the finish line. Oh, uh, never mind. Ooh, finally ahead. But that means I'm probably gonna get trampled again. Ooh, I get my last cupcake. I feel like I cheated through to get them, but... Oh, well. Alright, I think we're almost done with this thing. Oh, I get to move the tree. The pleasure of doing so. Oh, I'm so close. I just need to spin literally anything except that darn tree. Please, please, please. I don't know where the blue spot is. I guess it's in the cupcakes. You know what? We're just gonna step on the cupcakes and... Yeah, screw all the other kids. They they don't get to have cupcakes. Except me. Go, go, go! Oh, and he got a home run and... Bluey is nowhere to be seen. But that's okay. Snickers was underrated anyways. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go step on the cupcakes. I think we did it completely wrong, but we got cupcakes and... In life, that's all I ask for. Here's all your friends. Oh, shoot. Well, it looks like Snickers is trying to change the day and night cycle of the world and presumably end it. But while he does that, I guess we'll take a look at the next board game because I still have no clue how this thing is supposed to work. I'm sorry. Also, I was just cleaning this up and I just realized that the whole point of this episode was discussing the importance of following the rules. And this board game has rules that, honestly, I don't understand at all. So, coming up next, we have a game that I don't think is going to be as hard. I think it's going to be a lot easier, based on what I've heard. And that is a kind of similar, but totally different board game called Scavenger Hunt, which looks pretty fun by the cover alone. So, from the looks of it, it looks like you just go around this board game and collect stuff, which... Honestly, it doesn't sound like too difficult of idea. And you got like these cards where you have to do stuff? Oh no, this is going to be embarrassing. So apart from needing something hard, I'm actually curious to see what these other cards have to say. So I'm going to get this super tight seal of cards and let's see what other things they request here. Just out of curiosity. So I guess these are like a bunch of cards where you have to like get something that matches the description. I assume that's why it's called a scavenger hunt. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. This is gonna be bad for me. If I have to do any of these things on camera, I, I am just gonna scream. So being the genius I am, I decided to shuffle all of the cards, assuming that they would just go in one slot. But there's actually separate slots for each type around the board. So now I have to go through each one and separate them to put them in the slots. I'm gonna pat myself on the back for this one. Alright, so my brother is back so we can play this game. As you can see, I'm gonna choose Bandit because yes. So, which character would you like to choose? You can also choose from one of Bluey's friends if you want to be different. But yeah, basically, we have to do these activities, like we land on the spaces, and then we have to do the activities on the corresponding cards. And with every turn, the clock moves, and if it gets to this space, we all lose and we basically die. So we have to get all of the toys before the time runs out, okay? That's basically the game. The oldest player goes first. Ah, heck yeah, ha ha. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Uh, oh, he's dead. Well, I got a balloon. Please be something good. Spin around five times. Ah, oh, great. I think I spun around like ten times, but yeah, I think I'm good. 
Oh, ouch, this is gonna hurt. So I guess we just get a toy? What did I get? Please do something good. Ooh, Bob Bilby, that's not, not too bad. No, put the toys away. You're not gonna take them all at once. That's not how this works. We're actually gonna try and follow the rules here this time. But um, yeah, ignore all of these bodies on the ground. There was like a big incident earlier. So um, yeah, roll the, roll the die. And uh, do we move the clock after every single turn or wait, do we move it after we both go? Wait, let me check the instructions again. So I'm looking at the instructions and I guess you only move the clock if you land on the clock space cause it's talking about the double space and I guess that's right there. So I think we'll actually have a lot more time in our hands than I thought. I guess we'll just move the clock back. We're, we're time travelers here. All right, so anyways, I guess you could go first. And no, do not look at the cards. I know you're really into that. Stop moving the cards. Roll the die already! And you just dropped it. Gosh, it's getting a little bit hot in here. So I'm just gonna turn the AC down to uh, 69 degrees. No particular reason why that number. It's just a good number, I suppose. One. Ah, great. Well, there goes the whole moving time thing. One, two, three. Ooh, trivia question. I should be good at this. What is Bluey's dad's name? Um, uh, as I'm you can see, I'm gonna I'm choose gonna Bandit, Bandit because, because yes. yes. So, so, which character, which character would you like, would you to, like choose? to choose? Um, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Dad, right? They always call him Dad in the merchandise. Let me see what the answer is. Bandit? What the- what's a bandit? Oh man, I should have known that one. Alright, so which card did you get? Ooh, something colorful. Well, it shouldn't be that hard. Alright, here's the timer. Go find me something colorful. Oh, no, don't drop it! Go get it! Go get it! Don't just stand there! Hurry, right, time's running out. Oh, and you got buttermilk. Also, extra points for getting the exact thing in the picture. You're so beautiful. And you get a very special toy. You get the annoying thing here. You get Chattermax. You know what? I, I think we'll leave the pony in the playroom. I don't think the parents will mind. I'm pretty sure Chili and Bandit will be okay with this pony pooping in the playroom, right? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, shoot. Where's the clock? Jeez, the horse broke the clock. Something purple. All right, go find something purple. Well, that was easy. You know what, let's just leave all the stuff we find on the table just to make it more challenging. You know, gotta get some extra content in there. All right, cool, um, I'll get a think card. I'm, I've done a lot about the show and I'm pretty smart. Oh, geez, what's the mom's name? Let's see, I don't think it's gonna be mom because I got dad wrong. What was it, chills? Was it brandy or something? Um, shoot, is the time right now? Um, I'm pretty sure her name was Pepper. Let's see. I am like 110% right. I cannot get this wrong. Stop! What? Anyways, I don't get a toy again, so I guess you get to go now. Oh shoot, you hit the bike. Something soft. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. We have a couple soft things. All right, I can't see it. Slam it on the table. Oh, well, that's a bit large, but, um, you know what? We'll try and keep it on the table. Let's see if we can play with this significantly large bingo. I think that'll make it interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder how this large bingo and this pony got in my room. Something small. Oh boy, I got one. All right, watch this. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty small. Don't take him for granted, though. Yeah, um, we'll just put you right there Ooh, something blue all right go get something blue i didn't even have time to set up the timer dang you're fast uh, why do i keep moving the clock jeez here we go get stay stay ah uh, no, no no were you on this one or this one okay i'm gonna trust you Remember, I'm gonna have to edit this video, so I'll see if you're cheating or not. One, two, three. Wasn't I- wasn't I just on the clock? Am I tripping? Oh, whatever. Alright, you go again. Five. 
and he's gone. But anyways, yeah, we should find, find Bandit because someone threw him off the table. But yeah, um, pick a find card. Well, I mean, you could define anything as special, so that would be easy. I could consider the dump I had in the toilet an hour ago special, but yeah, I guess Coco's special. Pretend to be a cat? Are you kidding me? Meow. Meow. See, I'm waving my fingers on top of my head. They're like cat ears. Then I'm, I'm like pretending to have whiskers. And I kind of look like a lunatic right now, but I'm trying to be pretend to be a cat. See, these are like, these are like the claws. And then I like hit and scratch stuff. Was that a good cat impression? All right, good. I guess that counts. Oh, would you look at that? I got a cat plush. How coincidental. Very nice. Go to any space a friend is at? Oh, well, I mean, I guess Bandit is kind of your friend. Don't hurt me. I just said don't hurt me. Move the clock backwards. What? We are, we really are time traveling here. Shoot. That should not be physically possible. What the heck? Oh, and I get a surprise too. Watch, it's going to be something like go to jail or something. I know it's not a monopoly, but... Move to any find space. Ooh, something rough. Oh, great. I'm surrounded by, like, plushies and stuff. Um, all right, set the timer. I'm going to go have to look somewhere else. Did the timer run out? When did it run out? Gosh darn it. I didn't get the masking tape in time. It ran out, like, a second before I found it. But anyways, we'll just put all these cards away because I was too lazy to put them away earlier like a decent person but yeah don't worry we still got plenty of time and with our time traveling capabilities we're gonna have all night no don't getting closer the world is gonna end kids oh that's actually pretty scary close we might actually lose this one <laughs> Oh great, that's a double space! Oh my goodness! We might actually lose this game made for five-year-olds. What has this world come to? What have I come to? Yeah, we might actually lose this game made for like, little kids, and that's gonna be very embarrassing. Uh, 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 uh. Well, that wasn't too bad. Ooh, Polly Puppy! Y yes, please. Oh, no, no, we've talked about this. Oh boy, you're gonna have to be a granny. All right, do me your best grandma impression, go. I mean, I, I guess grandmas can just like sit still and do nothing, but I don't know, go go floss or something, the time's almost out. Yeah, I'm at, no token for you. But um, yeah, I guess we'll go again. I mean, we have like barely any time left, so we gotta speed run this. All right, hurry, we're running out of time. Something round. All right, set the timer. We gotta go find some round or we're gonna lose this thing. I guess this is round, right? Would you say this is round? All right, good, we won. Two? All right, so we just need one more and we're gonna prevent the world from spontaneously combusting. So please get something good. You were supposed to get something good, not throw the die at my face. All right, don't mess this up. You gotta be kidding me. All right, well, we're really in trouble now, but let's just try to get lucky. We're up all night to get lucky. We're up all night to get lucky. Uh, we're not lucky. Chickens have, a, like, the bond of their mouths, kind of like their chin. And then here's, like, the things that the roosters have on top of their head. Are you looking at me? So here's, like, the thing. Look up! Look Am I a good chicken? Am I a good chicken? Now I'm the deep fryer because I accidentally went to KFC and... Now I'm fried chicken. Do I look like fried chicken? No, I don't, but you know what? I'll just take your word for it because otherwise we're gonna lose. Oh, well that was violent. Oh no, we only have one more chance left. We have to, all right. Please be something good. Please be something good. I can't believe we're actually gonna lose this. You gotta be kidding. We lost. We lost a game made for five-year-olds. We couldn't beat a game meant for young children. How? I didn't even plan this. Like, we, this just happened. This is embarrassing. Oh my god. <laughs> I like to imagine this game as like Majora's Mask and the moon just crashed into our house and we have all been deceased now. So that was all fun. Oh yeah. 
and apparently we have Muffin committing various crimes throughout the playroom. That That's very nice. Got the board game. See, I don't even know why I'm recording him. He's doing an amazing job here. And, uh, wh what are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, no! What are you doing? No! We just spent, like, ten minutes cleaning that up! Alright, so for our final and last game, we have one that really isn't an original board game based around Bluey, but rather an existing board game that's themed around Bluey, and that, of course, is Monopoly Jr. Bluey Edition. Because nothing says family fun like buying out your entire city and financially exploiting your family. Pretty fun, right? Yeah, this is your little ASMR session here, so enjoy that. Step right up and get ready to play Bluey Monopoly Jr. So which NFT or I met character are you picking? Don't pick Bandit. Oh good, that you can pick Bandit. Let's see, the youngest player gets to go first. What? But the other one has the oldest player. Oh man, that means I'm gonna have to wait. But that's okay, I think I'll win anyways. I've played Monopoly only like a thousand times. And I've only forced my brother to play like a hundred of those times. So I think I'll be pretty good. I can't believe this bingo chair is actually working. I thought this thing would have broken already, but... Alright, I guess you get to go first. You got three. I don't know what that's doing there, but yeah, you get a Cheddar Max, and what did you get? Can you show us all the card? Oh, Biscuits! Give this card to Bandit and take another Cheddar Max card. Wait, so does it just go to me? See, this is why you pick Bandit, because he's the best Bluey character, and you'll just get free stuff thrown to you. That's awesome. I know I made the right choice. You got Dad off the seesaw, free space! Aw, oh, you get to go to the orange space, my friend. What'd you get? Which one are you gonna pick? Don't take the peanut. Don't take the peanut! Don't take the peanut! Uh, I'm sorry folks, but we just lost the big peanut. And I'm on the verge of crying right now because it's a national tragedy, but I guess we'll have to take our revenge. Well, I guess we're gonna have to wait on that one. You go right in there, Chili. You've been a really bad dog. You can go sit with that character who doesn't look like a bluey character, but I'm sure he's in season three. But one, two, three, four, five. Oh, Bandit, what did you do? Oh, wait a minute. Aren't you supposed to be in jail? You didn't pay to get out. I mean, I guess I could play the advanced version where we have like debt and we pay with like properties and stuff. But this bingo chair is killing me. I think it wants me to get off, and I will do that, so I guess we'll just clean this up, and I guess we'll wrap it up. Ow! This chair hurt. This chair hurt me. Oh my goodness, when I got up there, I thought I was gonna be no more for a second. Oh, yeah, he's just causing a mess, so I think that that's about it for now. You better be able to clean this up, because... I am not your mama, and I'm not cleaning all this up for you, so... Let's see if we could get this cleaned up together. I'll help you out a little bit. Uh-oh, Bingo. Looks like your time is up. <coughs> so, overall, what are my thoughts on the games we just played? Well, of course, I'm like double or heck, even triple the age of the target demographic. So, take my words with a grain of salt. But with that said... I have to admit that despite looking like just a bunch of filler, generic board games meant for 6 year olds, I actually had a blast playing most of them, and enjoyed a lot of it unironically, except for Shadowlands. I still have no clue what I was supposed to do, but that could have just been me. And with that said, if someone like me of all people could enjoy them, then they must be pretty fun for not only the kids, but I assume also the parents as well, since some parts are luck-based and can definitely pull a fast one on you if you're not careful. So yeah, as silly as it sounds, I do recommend giving these games a try. But now, I'd like to leave it to you. Have you played any of these before? And what are your thoughts about them? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. And yes, I know I haven't uploaded in like forever, 
and that's because I've just been dealing with a lot of different stuff, and my mental state hasn't really been the best lately, so I haven't been able to work on videos that much. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed this crazy video, and until next time, I'll be signing out. Have a great day everyone, and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye everyone.